Right, so now let me show you the next feature on the product that is the courier or delivery booking flow. So you, when I click on courier, you can see the different types of courier vehicles available. We have just, and these are all configurable from the back office. Currently, the provider I have is logged into a, you know, is logged into the a bike type, and I can always see what vehicle I've logged into by clicking on my vehicle details in a provider, and I would see that I'm logged into the courier type of vehicle. So let me uh, walk you through the booking for a courier. I select, I click on the book button. I select the drop. The system gives me a fair estimate. I can see that right here. I can add the details for who I'm sending this to. I can choose a receiver from my contacts. I can look for my name, put that here. It puts my phone number. The next step would be adding the details of the package. I can choose the package type. We have just configured one and we can again change that from the back office. I can add a, take a photo of the package. So I can just say I'm trying to send my phone to somebody. I add that as a photo. If I need any assistance, I can opt for a handler. Uh, I, I, mean, I, I can add one or I can mo add more than one. So I select that. Add some notes for the provider. I request a provider now. As soon as I do that, uh, the provider gets a booking request. The provider can see all the details of the booking and can decide to accept it or not. Let's assume the provider accepts it. As soon as the provider accepts the booking, the customer gets the confirmation and I can see the details of the driver. I can always scroll up and see all the information about the booking, who I'm sending this to and you know what the payment method is, etc. I can see all the details. I can always go back and see the booking in the assign tab. I can always look at the booking and launch it from there. So now let's uh, try to show you the booking flow from the provider side. The provider can see details of the booking right here, right? And you can see the notes, the job description. The provider can also call, they can see the details of the booking from here. And the provider can chat with the customer, just like how we had it on the right flow. So now let's say the provider is on the way, so he swipes right and the customer is informed in real time. Uh, let's assume the provider has arrived or driver has arrived at the pickup, so we get informed. Now when the driver gets there, he needs, he, he needs to take some time to load the vehicle. So uh, that's why the next date is loaded and delivery started. So when I do that, uh, the system gives me an alert and it will tell me if I want to add some photos uh, to confirm that I picked up the right items, I can do that. So let me go ahead and take a photo. Uh, I take a photo, like the provider takes a photo of the same phone and adds that in, and adds, links that to the booking. Add some notes here, so I can say iPhone and confirm that. So that's done. And uh, then, the, then the provider updates the status uh, as loaded and ready. So when the provider gets to the drop, which is here the airport, but of course, uh, since it's a demo, I'll just swipe the status right here. The provider can then, uh, you know, see the details of the fare. Uh, the provider can go on and add, uh, take a photo at the time of drop, just to make sure that the goods were deli delivered in shape and nothing was wrong with them. The pickup documents can be seen here, including the notes. Uh, the provider then captures the signature from the customer or from the receiver just to confirm that uh, the goods were received in shape. Once the customer or once the provider updates that, the customer gets a invoice copy and they see that right here. Um, the customer can go ahead and rate the provider and uh, add some notes or review baby and confirm that. So once that is done, the uh, booking for the courier type is complete. So this was the courier booking flow for the for the uh, service x app i can always go see the past bookings right here and i can always go see what the invoice was what the package details were on the customers app so i get a copy of all the documents uh, that were linked to this booking and i can see the details of the booking right here so this completes a quick walkthrough of the courier booking flow on service x thank you and now I'll move on to the next phase of the app uh, of the video that would show the services flow.